Numerus clausus, closed number, in Latin is one of many methods used to limit the number of students who may study at a university. In many cases, the goal of the numerus clausus is simply to limit the number of students to the maximum feasible in some particularly sought after areas of studies. In historical terms however, in some countries, numerous closest policies were religious or racial quotas, both in intent and function. <laughs> Modern use The numerous closest is used in countries and universities where the number of applicants greatly exceeds the number of available places for students. This is the case in many countries of continental Europe. Students in much of Europe choose their field of specialization when they begin university study, unlike students in North America, who specialize later. Fields such as medicine, law, biology, dentistry, pharmacology, psychology and business administration are particularly popular and therefore harder to gain admittance to study. Topic. Selected examples Topic. Brazil. In November 2002 the Brazilian government passed Federal Law 10.558-2002, known as the Quota Law. The law allowed for the establishment of racial quotas at public universities. In 2012 the Supreme Federal Court of Brazil unanimously upheld the law. <laughs> Germany The numerous closest is used in Germany to address overcrowding at universities. There are local admission restrictions, which are set up for a particular degree program at the university's discretion, and nationwide admission restrictions in medicine, dentistry, veterinary medicine, and pharmacy. Not all degree programs restrict admissions. The most common admission criterion is the final grade of the university entrance qualification, that is the high school completion certificate formally allowing the applicant to study at a German university. Typically, this is the abitur. The final grade takes into account the grades of the final exams as well as the course grades. In colloquial usage, numerous closes may also refer to the lowest admitted grade in this process. Other criteria, e.g. interviews, are increasingly common as well. Topic. Finland The Finnish system of implementing the numerous closes provides a comparison to the German model. In Germany, the main weight of the student selection lies on the abitur grades i.e. high school diploma. In Finland, which has a similar nationwide final exam, the matriculation examination Finnish the majority of student selections are based on entrance exams. Most degree programs consist of a single major subject and have their own entrance procedures. Nearly all programs have a quota in which the score is calculated solely on the basis of the entrance exam. The written exams usually consist of open-ended questions requiring the applicant to write an essay or solve problems. Multiple choice tests are uncommon, in fields where the competition for study places is less fierce. This is especially the case with the engineering and natural science programs. It is relatively easy to be accepted in these fields. About one-third of the study places in technology are awarded on the basis of the matriculation exam. The rest of the students are admitted on the basis of an entrance exam. After receiving a study place, the student must accept it in writing on the pain of forfeiting the place. In case the students receive more than one study place, they must select one. During the year, one person may accept only a single study place in an institution of higher education. The system is enforced through a national database on student admissions. In the Finnish system, the numerous closest is the most important factor limiting student numbers. After gaining entrance, traditionally a student cannot be expelled, pays no tuition, and enjoys a state student benefit. The new legislation, introduced in the summer of 2005, limits the study period to seven years, but it is anticipated that it will be relatively easy to receive a permission for a longer study time. No changes to the financial position of the student are currently being considered as of the summer of 2005. Topic. France In France, admission to the Grandes Écoles is obtained by competitive exams with a fixed, limited number of positions each year. 
Also, at the end of the first year of medical studies in universities, there is a competitive exam with a numerous closes for determining which students are allowed to proceed to the second year. In later years of medical studies, there is a competitive exam de for choosing medical specialties. Topic: <inaudible> Ireland. Numerous closes is also used in Ireland. University College Dublin uses the system in its admission for medicine and veterinary medicine. Topic: <inaudible> Switzerland. The introduction of the numerous closes in Switzerland has limited the access to the medical studies at the universities. At all universities of the German-speaking part of Switzerland, the students need to have a high score on an aptitude test that comprises logical and spatial thinking and text understanding skills. The universities in the western, French-speaking part of Switzerland did not decide to introduce a numerous closus. Instead, these universities provide unrestricted access to the first-year curriculum in medicine, and the best first-year students are allowed to further their medical studies at the same or at another university. In other popular faculties like psychology or journalism, there are also aptitude tests. But they concern only a single university. Topic. United States Starting in the 1980s, and ongoing as of 2017, there have been allegations of an Asian quota in college admissions, analogous to the earlier Jewish quota. Topic. Historical use. Before World War II, the limitations in the number of students of Jewish origin in many countries were usually resulting from their disproportionate numbers in the national universities. This limitation took the form of quotas restricting the number of Jewish students so that their share in the student population would correspond with their share in the general population. The limitations in enrollment were introduced in over a dozen countries, allowing access to higher education to a greater proportion of non Jewish students. Countries legislating limitations on the admission of Jewish students, at various times, have included Austria, Canada, Hungary, Imperial Russia, Iraq, Latvia from 1934 under Carlos Ulmanis' regime, Netherlands, Poland, Romania, United States, Vichy France, and Yugoslavia, among others. Topic. Selected examples Topic. Canada Certain Canadian universities had long-standing quotas on the number of Jews admitted to the respective universities. McGill University's strict quota was the longest, being officially adopted in 1920 up until the late 1960s. Topic. Germany. A whole series of numerous closest resolutions were adopted in 1929 on the grounds of race and place of origin, not religion. On 25 April 1933, the Nazi government introduced a 1.5% quota for new admissions of German non-Aryans, essentially of German Jews enrolling to German high schools and universities. Hungary The Hungarian numerous closes was introduced in 1920. The law formally placed limits on the number of minority students at university, and legalized corporal punishment. Though the text did not use the term Jew, it was nearly the only group overrepresented in higher education. The policy is often seen as the first anti-Jewish act of 20th century Europe. Its aim was to restrict the number of Jews to 6%, which was their proportion in Hungary at that time. The rate of Jewish students was approximately 15% in the 1910s. In 1928 also because of the pressure of liberal capital and League of Nations, the act was modified and the passage of the ethnicity quota had been eliminated. In the period of 1938–1945 the anti-Jewish acts were revitalized and eventually much worsened, partly due to German Nazi pressure, and in hope of revising the Treaty of Trianon with the help of Germany. <inaudible> Poland Numerous closes in interwar Poland was unofficially introduced in 1937 by some universities. 
It was a result of highly disproportionate number of Jewish students in key disciplines including 62.9% in stomatology, 34% in medical sciences, 29.2% in philosophy, 24.9% in chemistry and 22.1% in law 26% by 1929. Such numbers were the cause of a backlash at most Polish universities, with notable protest organized by the non Jewish political parties. During the partitions of Poland by the neighboring empires, Poles were denied education, and the severely limited number of schools were poorly funded. Following Poland's return to independence, the advocates of the numerous closest policy pointed out that the limit would balance the chance to enter university of all nationalities in Poland Polish, Lithuanian, Belarusian, Ukrainian, German, etc. The other reason given by the supporters of the idea was that it was an attempt to equal the chance of children from countryside families who had very limited access to education to the chance of the children of Jewish families living in the towns and cities. After World War II similar policies were introduced by the pro-Soviet communists, based on preferential treatment of peasant and working class children. The students from working class families were intended to form the new socialist intelligentsia. United States Between 1918 and the 1950s a number of private universities and medical schools in the United States introduced numerous closest policies limiting admissions of students based on their religion or race to certain percentages within the college population. Many minority groups were negatively impacted by these policies. One of the groups affected was Jewish applicants, whose admission to some New England and New York City area liberal arts colleges fell significantly between the late 1910s and the mid 1930s. For instance, the admission to Harvard University during that period fell from 27.6% to 17.1%, and in Columbia University from 32.7% to 14.6%. Corresponding quotas were introduced in the medical and dental schools resulting during the 1930s in the decline of Jewish students, e.g. in Cornell University School of Medicine from 40% in 1918 to 22 to 3.57% in 1940-41, in Boston University Medical School from 48.4% in 1929-30 to 12.5% in 1934-35. At Yale University, Dean Milton Winternitz's instructions to the admissions office regarding ethnic quotas were very specific. Never admit more than five Jews, take only two Italian Catholics, and take no blacks at all. During this period, a notable exception among U.S. Medical schools was the Medical School of Middlesex University, which had no quotas and many Jewish faculty members and students. School officials believed that antisemitism played a role in the school's failure to secure AMA accreditation, the most common method, employed by 90% of American universities and colleges at the time to identify the desirable. Native-born, white, Protestant applicants was the application form questions about their religious preference, race, and nationality. Other more subtle methods included restrictions on scholarships, rejection of transfer students, and preferences for alumni sons and daughters. Legacy preference for university admissions was devised in 1925 at Yale University, where the proportional number of Jews in the student body was growing at a rate that became alarming to the school's administrators. Prior to that year, Yale had begun to incorporate such amorphous criteria as character and solidity, as well as physical characteristics, into its admissions process as an excuse for screening out Jewish students, but nothing was as effective as legacy preference, which allowed the admissions board to summarily pass over Jews in favor of Yale sons of good character and reasonably good record, as a 1929 memo phrased it. Other schools, including Harvard, soon began to pursue similar policies for similar reasons, and Jewish students in the Ivy League schools were maintained at a steady 10% through the 1950s. Such policies were gradually discarded during the early 1960s, with Yale being one of the last of the major schools to eliminate the last vestige with the class of 1970 entering in 1966. While legacy admissions as a way of screening out Jewish students may have ceased, the practice of giving preference to legacies has continued to the present day. In the 1998 book The Shape of the River, Long-Term Consequences of Considering Race in College and University Admissions, authors William G. Bowen, former Princeton University president, and Derek Bach, former Harvard University president, found, "...the overall admission rate for legacies was almost twice that for all other candidates." 
The religion preference question was eventually dropped from the admission application forms and noticeable evidence of informal numerous closest policies in the American private universities and medical schools decreased by the 1950s. As related to matters other than education Numerous closes is also a rule that regulates the number of practitioners of a public service in many areas. In the U.S., for instance, it can limit the number of liquor stores to be found in a given geographic area. In France, it limits the distribution of public notaries geographically and, in effect, limits competition for their services since their fees are fixed by the state. Notaries handle, for instance, title transactions, which is not allowed to lawyers in France. Similar limitations apply to pharmacists, and to licensed premises for the consumption of strong alcoholic beverages. In India the system of caste quotas for job placement is enforced, and vigorously defended by strikes and riots. Often, the rule is administered by the corporation or professional body to which the public servant must adhere, but it is also employed by state entities that have the responsibility for assuring the uniformity of a public service across a national geography. Topic. Law Numerous closes is also used in law, property law in particular, as the principle that the system of estates allows only a limited number of property rights available in a legal system. The numerous closes principle has its roots in Roman law. In German law the numerous closes principle has a constitutional foundation and limits property rights in their number and content other European states show equal doctrines. See also Affirmative action Ghetto benches Notes References Book S. J. Carabell, The Chosen, The Hidden History of Admission and Exclusion at Harvard, Yale, and Princeton Houghton Mifflin, 2005 M. G. Sino, Antisemitism and American Universities, Did Quotas Follow the Jews? in Jeffrey S. Garak ed., Antisemitism in America Routledge 1998 Vol. V. Part 2 Articleist Merrill and H. Smith, Optimal Standardization in the Law of Property, The Numerous Closest Principle 2000-110 Yale Law Journal 1 H. Hansman and R. Crackman, Property, Contract and Verification, The Numerous Closest Problem and the Divisibility of Rights 2002-31 Journal of Legal Studies 373